Hello everyone. I'm glad to present our paper titled Divide and Conquer Post-User Interaction Network for Fake News Detection on Social Media. This is a joint work between the Nectar in the University of Manchester and the Tencent AI Lab. Here is the outline of our talk. Uh, we will first introduce the background, the contributions, the problem statement, the methodology, the data set, and uh, the experiments. So what is fake news? Narrowly speaking, fake news is intentionally false news published by a news outlet. And uh, broadly speaking, fake news can just be defined as false news. Uh, the detection of fake news can be divided into two categories, content-based and uh, social context-based uh, methods. In our paper, we focus on the social context-based fake news detection. As we illustrated in the figure, uh, when a news message is published on a social platform such as Twitter, many users would comment on it. Uh, and the collective wisdom in the comments can help us validate it, validate the veracity of the news. However, the detection on social media meets two challenges. Uh, the first one is uh, is that information in social context of news is complicated and heterogeneous. Here's an example of propagation of a news event on Twitter. There are multiple types of entities, such as posts, reposts, replies, and users, and uh, multiple types of connections, uh, such as the responsive relations between posts and the post, uh, the publishing relations between user and the post, and uh, the follow relations between users. Uh, the heterogeneous characteristics and the connections of these entities provide evidence uh, from different views, um, but also raise challenges for effective information utilization. Uh, the second one is the issue of distribution shifts. Uh, there are various topics of news in social media. And uh, as, as illustrated in the word cloud figures, different topics have different uh, word distributions and uh, also the social context distributions. For example, if the model is trained on entertainment news or politics, politics news, um, but, when, but some black swan incident such as the COVID-19 happens, the models may fail to detect fake news in these novel topics. Our paper aims to solve the two problems from two aspects. The first one is the proposed method, post-user interaction network for fake news detection. It formulates the task as a heterogeneous graph modeling task and applies topic agnostic feature learning to make the model generalizable to novel topics. And the second one is the MC fake dataset. It is a fake news dataset with the social context. Uh, it contains 27,000 news events in five topics. It also has five, five million posts, uh, two million users, and uh, 0 .2, 0 0.2 billion ads. Now, um, let me introduce the data structure of a uh, news event. In general, a uh, news event in social media can be represented as a heterogeneous graph, including two types of nodes and uh, three types of edges. It includes the propagation posts, the involved users, the propagation trees, uh, the user social network, and the user post by party graph. So the fake news detection on social media can be formulated as a two-class graph class classification problem. Given the social context of a news event, we aim, aim to predict its veracity. Informer, uh, given the training set, 
uh, with uh, varsity labels, the topic labels, uh, we aim to learn a classifier uh, from the training set and uh, then predict the varsity labels uh, for the testing set. Therefore, we propose a model named the post-user interaction network to process the heterogeneous graph. Generally, the model is composed of three modules. The first one is a hybrid node encoder, which encodes both text features and uh, meta features. Uh, the second one is a heterogeneous graph network. Uh, specifically, we first encode uh, the post tree and uh, the user network respectively, and then fuse the representations of both uh, based on the post user by part by parted graph. Uh, the third one is a topic agnostic uh, uh, classification module, which enforces the um, model to learn both variously discriminative and the topic invariant features for robust classification. So let me introduce all these modules in details. The first one is a node feature encoder. Uh, a post uh, in Twitter usually contains text features and uh, meta features. The texts usually contain semantic information and the stance information, which is crucial for the varsity detection. Uh, the meta features in usually include the, some features like uh, Twitter, Twitter retweet count uh, or follower count, and so on which implies the uh, popularity and uh, social attention of the post um, and can be used to measure the importance, importance of the given node. Uh, therefore, we design a gated mechanism based on the meta features to filter the text features extracted by a convolutional neural network and uh, the weighted text features are concatenated with the meta features uh, as the node embedding. Now let me introduce the graph neural networks. The first one is the post tree modeling network. The original post trees only contains the direct replying relation, relation, relations. However, posts in Multiple hopes might also be relevant to the target post. For example, uh, the fourth post is likely to be relevant relevant to the root node, uh, and the all its charging nodes might also discuss about uh, fourth node, uh, not limited to its direct respondents. So we conduct an edge edge augmentation. Uh, to stress strengthen these connections and uh, we design a variant of graph attention network named uh, tree GAT to encode the tree structure. Uh, the difference between tree GAT and uh, the conventional graph attention net network is uh, distance encoding. We use a uh, trainable distance vectors vector we use the trainable distance vectors to distinguish the distance between the nodes. So the attention, the graph attention is aware of the the deep information and the all the distance information. The second one is the user network modeling. The user network is a directed network which composes the directed relation into three types of relations, only follow, only followed, and a friend, friend relation. And we design a relation-aware graph attention based on GAT. Uh, we use a type-specific vector, the AR, to distinguish the edge types. Uh, note that the A2 is uh, equal to the summation of AO and A1. After we abandon the representation of posts and users, we hope to fuse their information based on the writing relations. For each post, we consider its spreaders as all users involved in its post chat tree. And for each user, we consider his relevant posts 
past posts in the path from the root post to all the posts he publishes. So similar to the post tree augmentation, we also augment the post user graph uh, and uh, we then transform the bipartite graph into a homogeneous graph and we align the post representations and the user representations into the same feature space. Uh, lastly, we use GAT to encode the post user graph. We concatenate the representation before and after the fusion network, and we use polling layers to abandon the vectors of the entire news event. After that, we feed the vectors into the classification module. So here's the topic agnostic classification module. Apart from the varsity classifier, we also use a topic classifier, classifier with gradient reversal layer to enforce the previous feature extractor to learn topic agnostic features. This process can be considered as an adversarial process where the topic classifier attempts to classify topics of news while the feature extractor attempts to learn topic agnostic features. As a result, the classifier would not be prone to overfit the topics and can achieve a better, a better result. And we construct our data set uh, because uh, existing data sets usually have some limitations. Uh, for example, they are usually in small scale. Uh, some of them are incomplete as uh, many tweets are missing and uh, uh, most of them do not have the user network and uh, they are the only contain topic continues in single topic here is the construction procedure of the data set uh, we firstly collect uh, fake news with ground truth labels from fact checking websites and uh, existing fake news data sets we also randomly sample some real news from the uh, from some credit credible resources and then we retrieve the social context of the source news from the twitter uh, we use the titles as the queries to search tweets and we also retrieve the retweets, replies, and the users. Uh, lastly, we further retrieve the user following list and the follower, follower list to construct a large user social network. Uh, here is uh, here's some statistics of the data set. As we can see, different topics of news have significantly different distributions of social context. Uh, and uh, the data set is now available on the GitHub. Uh, we also conduct some data analysis on the data set uh, in order to analyze the topic distribution of social context of fake and real news. We construct uh, word cloud figures to visualize it. We can observe that the general topics of them are similar, uh, covering topics of uh, uh, politics, entertainment, health, coronavirus, and zero wars. Uh, furthermore, we also visualize the world distribution in user descriptions. We have we can say that the user des description usually express a user's appetite for news and a political preference, pre preference, which are important evidence for veracity detection. We also conduct sentiment analysis on the replies and the bot analysis on the users. As we can see in the table, people tend to have more negative sentiment over fake news. And the pie figures show that uh, users involved in fake news are more likely to be bots. Now let me show the experimental results. We validated the PC in both in-topic setting and out-of-topic settings. In the in-topic split setting, we split the data set into the training set, validation set, and the testing set randomly. Uh, when in the out of topic split setting, we split the data set according to the topics as illustrated in the table. Uh, we can observe that uh, our proposed uh, PC and uh, PC without T, without T means without a topic uh, agnostic classifier. And they both achieve sort of performance on both settings. 
Uh, note that uh, PCing outperform, outperforms PCing without T in both settings, and the gap is more silent in out of topic uh, settings, showing that the adverse uh, area topic uh, classifier mitigates the overfitting issue and uh, enables enables our model to learn more generalizable features for variety detection. We also conduct ablation studies to illustrate the effects of each module. As we can see in the figures, each module contributes to the performance of our model. And uh, besides, we also perform early detection analysis. Uh, specifically, we set up a series of detection deadlines and only utilize the posts released before the deadlines with the induced user network to evaluate the early detection performance of PCing and other baselines. Here's a summary of our paper. Uh, it includes a post-user interaction network for fake news modeling and uh, a fake news dataset named uh, MC Fake. Thank you for listening. Please feel free to ask any questions. Hi, th th thank you for that very, very interesting talk. Um, so we have a few minutes, two or three minutes for some questions. Um, feel free to ask now or type them into the chat and I can read them out, whatever you prefer. But while people are thinking, maybe I can ask a ask a question. So, um, so I, I think it's actually really cool how you measured it out of topic, and I, I think that's really important for you know a, a practical system in an applied setting because these new events do occur. Um, the, the the one thing that I, I guess I, I didn't follow entirely was how do you decide which edges to add to the graphs or the, or the, or the yeah? Because that seems to be quite an important step, but I. I, I is there complex decision making to decide which augmented edges are added? Uh, hello, hello, uh, hello. Do you do you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Do Do you mean the how uh how to augment the edges for the for the original posts, uh, yeah, uh, just uh, take the post tree as an example. Uh, the original tree in the original tree, there is only edges between the between the posts, which uh, uh, which is uh, direct. Uh, there, there there is a direct responsive responsive relations. Uh, but uh, uh, for, for example, if uh, uh, for one popular post, it has many. It uh, it has many uh, replying re replies, so and the replies might uh, construct a deeper subtree. I mean a deep charging tree, and all the uh, all the posts might uh, be related to this uh, popular the popular post. Uh, so we I will connect all its children's uh, charge all its children posts to this post to. Enhance, I mean, augment this uh, augment augment the tree. 